welcome back. I'm Krista from Plant Lux. Welcome back. How are you today? Today's a plant care day. So yeah, so I recently started back at work and uh, we're all online, so I've been kind of preoccupied with that. Um, but today I noticed that several plants needed to be um, watered and taken care of. So I've got a couple of different things that I've got to do and I thought I would show you how I do it. And Whiskey's gonna come along for the ride. So if you are new here, hi, yeah, this is Whiskey. And if you're new here and you like anything plants or plant related, this is your channel. Please subscribe. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to the plants. from where you're at, but the soil was, is extremely dry. So what I do is I just come in here and I give it a good drink. And then I have um, at the bottom of this pot, usually we have to get a lot of like towels and stuff. But see how like this down here has like um, some space so the spill out can come down here and then I can um, get rid of the extra water. So this one really needed a drink bad so it's taking a lot of water. And then I'll come back through with a towel and I'll clean all that up. All right, I need more water. So while I'm filling up the bucket, I come over here and grab some other plants and I've already checked these ones. So this one's really, really dry and super in need of a drink. Let's take them right out of the pot. I'm going to stick them in the shower. This is what it's all about. No, And obviously, it does get a little dirty in here and then I have to clean it up after. More plants. It's gonna be kind of hot. So, just kind of a, uh, a moment to take a sec. This is an Eccle Homes, Alec Homes, I think is how you pronounce it, humidifier. I absolutely love this humidifier. It is uh, really super easy to use. I have three other humidifiers and this one's my favorite. And I'll tell you why. This one's my favorite because you can take it out and fill it very easily or you can fill a vessel and pour water in. I keep this baby cranking on high all day. It has on, um, you know, different settings. I always just keep it on like the biggest setting. And if you come over here, there are two ways that you can distribute humidity. I can plant it at whatever plants I want, you know? Right now I'm just giving these Rojo Congos a really nice dose of humidity. So I highly recommend this. There is in the description box below a link and there's also a 20% off coupon uh, that you can use if you want to get one of these. This is my favorite one. My other two, real quick, are over here. This is called a Morocco, a Murico, excuse me, a Murico. All right, and the humidity comes out the top, not as much. And then you fill it from the bottom. So it's kind of a pain in the neck. I'm not crazy about this humidifier at all. It was one of the first humidifiers that I ever purchased and it is messy. So I'm not really crazy about this one and the humidity that comes out, what's wrong with it? It's okay, but as you can see with the other humidifier, you have lots more coming out of, of the um, Alec Holmes one. And then the last humidifier I have to show you Comedics one. Okay, and this one's the most aggravating to fill and take care of because you take it out like this and then you have to go in the bottom, hold it under the faucet. It's a pain in the neck. So of the three humidifiers I have, 
The Echo Holmes one, the white one that I showed you that is linked in the description below, that's my favorite. Okay, back to plant care. shower I have this handheld shower head I just go ahead and turn it on you know cool and then I get to work Checking for pests, looking at the undersides and the tops of the leaves. I mean, I do this pretty much every day anyway, but I always just double check to make sure nothing's jumped on it since the last time I checked it, you know? This is not needing water, neither is that one. So we're good. But check out this new growth. It's almost touching the ceiling. And I just propagated it. I just cut it and now it's already back to almost being to the, to the top of the ceiling. So it looks like I'll have to propagate it again. Oh well. Look at this one over here. So this one, it might, it actually might not need water, but look how much this has grown since I got it home. It has grown at least, I would say two feet. I, I can't, I can't even, <laughs> it's way up there. But, gotta check it. Gotta check it, yep. This girl's good. She, she's already taken care of, she's good to go. But I just wanna look it over for pests, just to be sure. As a big plant like this, you gotta keep up with it. Check out these roots and how these roots have grown around this pole. You see that? It's phenomenal. All right, I think we're good. Check my Birkin. I haven't watered this guy yet, I don't think. No, he's good. I just watered him, but man, does he dry out quick. I actually think I might need to water this guy again. Do Calathea, these kind of Calathea suck up that much water? Oh my God. This thing sucks up an incredible amount of water. I just watered this like two days ago. Crazy. I think this needs to be good. Oh, that one's good. This one's good. The Dracaena might need some drink. So let me get a drink of water for the Dracaena. Now, for a Dracaena to drop leaves like this, this is completely normal. This is what they do. I think daily I am picking up for my Song of India, the, the leaf shed. If it starts dropping a lot of leaves, generally that's a sign that something's wrong with the plant or it's really thirsty and it needs water. But they do drop about this many leaves if you have one that's that's this big. Should be good for a while. Gonna use the bucket, I don't care. Going for it. So inside this basket, there is a, um, a dish in there so that it won't go everywhere, hopefully. Okay, let's go. 
So Calathea Medallion needs a little water. This guy right here. Now, even if it looks kind of like, hi, what are you doing? If it looks dry uh, to the touch, you still have to put your finger in there to check it. So this definitely needs a good water. probably have to fill my bucket up one more time. And then I come over here and check this guy. Oh, let's see, look, in the, look at the soil. So you can see how dry this guy got. So he's, he's really desperate for water. So I'll give him a nice drink. Time to fill the bucket. Um, another thing I like to do with plant care is I, when I'm checking for pests, I usually have my neem oil handy. I haven't shown you that yet on um, getting there. Um, but I did notice some spider mites upstairs on my giant pothos that I'm going to have to treat. So I have horticulture oil and I have neem oil and um, I'll talk to you a little bit about how all that works in just a second. I need a towel though, I'm just keep getting water everywhere. So this is the, um, you know, you buy the extract and then you, you know, mix it with water and soap. So this is a neem oil extract. I mix it with water and soap. I follow the instructions on the container. This is horticulture and dormant spray oil. Lots of plants, this is like the stronger. So this is like the daughter and this is like the mother, kind of. So this one's stronger than the neem oil and some plants do not like this kind at all. Uh, so you have to be careful when you're using this. Um, and you can't use it on new foliage because it will harm the foliage. So that's why it says when it's dormant. And I add baking soda to this to treat um, like fungal rust or those rust those spots you see uh, sometimes on philodendrons. So I put that combination in here. I put soap, baking soda, and horticulture oil in here. And I'm gonna give it a test on one leaf and I'm gonna see how it goes. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. And then we're gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna take care of my plants upstairs. So guys, if you can see the little spots on the leaves here, okay, that's, you know, I do not want to chop off the leaves, but this just showed up recently and I'm, I'm not really sure why. And this one might be a better example because you can kind of see through it. If you can see that. This leaf might need to get clipped. Yeah, you can kind of see it on this side a little better. So I'm going to go ahead and treat the leaves. So I'm going to go ahead and just spray this one too, just because. All right, well, we'll see how it goes. I'm a little reticent to do anything more than that right now. But generally speaking, you'd want to go ahead and just cut the leaves off that have the um, the disease on it, the the uh, the fungus rust, the fungal rust. Um, but because I'm not a horticulturist, I'm guessing that it's it, it's either that or a bacterial disease. So either way, it needs treated, and this this um, combination of horticulture oil, baking soda and soap is something that I looked up on, on the internet with some of the uh, garden experts. That's what they said to use to treat it. So that's what I'm gonna try and we'll see how it works. So if you have any suggestions, you go ahead and leave them in the comments below. But we're giving this a go and see how it does. All right, so let's start in here because I've already gotten my um, pretty giant 
Golden Pothos there in the shower. And what I wanna do is I just wanna give it a thorough soaking with the horticulture oil because I noticed some spider mites. Now, uh, some people recommend, you know, using the alcohol and water and agitating the leaf. That works too. But alcohol, remember, is the least of the, um, of the treatment is the least harmful to the plant. The alcohol is the least harmful to the plant. The neem oil or the horticulture oil is gonna be stronger. So the neem oil is gonna be sort of a weaker version and then, you know, kind of like a prescriptive. And then the horticulture oil is going to be, you know, that much stronger. So when you talk to, you know, nursery owners and people with, you know, uh, many, many plants uh, that are the horticulturalists, they'll tell you that, you know, alcohol is great, alcohol mixed with water or whatever. Um, but you know, it's not going to be as strong as, you know, a horticulture oil. So for those of you who didn't know that, there you go. That comes straight from the grower. Okay. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and, and treat this. And yes, you do want to agitate the environment of the spider mites because that's the only way to get them, you know, basically to move out of their homes is to, to, you know, spray them out of there. You can't do that. You gotta, okay, let me start over. I'm out of breath. <laughs> So the only way to get rid of spider mites is to treat them uh, with, with something, whether it's neem oil or horticulture oil or alcohol and water. I would use something stronger like um, horticulture oil. And then I would agitate the environment. So you'd wanna wipe down the, the fronts and backs of the leaves and make sure that you get, you know, in all of those nooks and crannies, especially at, you know, this juncture right here. They love hanging out in this, this area right here. Okay, so you want to make sure you get there, you want to make sure you wipe the front side, and you want to get in the underside. They love to hang out and make houses with all their spider mite friends and all of their, you know, little spider mite parties and hang out in there. And what you want to do is blast them right out of there like some really bad Hurricane Laura. Aha! Yes, so we're going to do that today. We're going to get them gone. All right, so let's do that. Okay, so one of the things that you're gonna to wanna to take into consideration if you're using horticulture oil is if there is new foliage, it's going to um, damage it and harm it. So you're gonna to wanna to be careful of where you're spraying it. And if you accidentally spray it on new foliage, you know, you run the risk of, you know, um, losing that foliage. So, uh, so I've treated this side of the plant and I did notice that up top there is a new leaf coming out and it's probably going to be a giant one, so I'm gonna to wanna to make sure I spray that off with some water before it gets harmed. So I'm gonna actually do that right now because I don't wanna damage it. I'm pretty sure I missed it, but I don't wanna damage it. Okay, then while I'm waiting on that guy, to, I'm just gonna let that uh, horticulture oil kinda of hang out on the plant for a bit, um, kinda of just chillax, leave it alone for a while, and then I'm just gonna go around and look at my other plants see if anything else needs attention. Make sure I wash my hands because I did touch that thing and it does have spider mites. I think they're dead, but I don't know. So I'm just gonna be on the safe side. So guys, um, a couple things I wanted to review with you today. So I give them a real good hose down and then I, uh, you know, look underneath the leaves, on the tops of the leaves, and then I check the soil. If I see anything mildly suspicious, 
I go ahead and, and shoot it with some either neem oil or horticulture oil. And I do a thorough checking of the plant to make sure there's no pest pressures. So this guy is fine. He does need water though. So um, obviously space is a concern for me because I have such big plants. So I have to rotate, you know, the days that I care for some of these bigger plants because I only have so many bathtubs and showers. So yeah. So especially a guy like this, if you can kind of see how giant this, this one is, he is a big guy. So he's gonna take up a lot of space. But I can tell that he is a very much in need of water, very compacted. Actually, he's not too, too bad. But yeah, he needs water. And I should probably spray him also with a preventative just because, you know, um, he may have been hanging a little close to some of the other plants. So yeah. This is a, a Xanadu, by the way, a philodendron Xanadu, and this is a, a pink syngonium. So yeah guys, thank you for joining me today in this video for plant care. Um, I hope you enjoy touring around with me and seeing what like, you know, like a regular day of plant care is for me. Uh, that's pretty much what I do pretty much every day, but maybe not that many plants, but there is always some kind of plant care that I'm doing, um, you know, to try to stay ahead of the power curve with these guys. So uh, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, hi, please subscribe. And yeah, so um, if you'd like to see more plant care videos like this in the future, let me know. Uh, if you have any ideas on content and you'd like to share them with me, go ahead and please tell me in the comment section below as well. So I thank you guys so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next one. Bye.